Welcome to the 37th episode of NPC, the series that aims to bring the unimportant NPCs from games to light. Let us dive right into the vast province of Cyrdiol in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. This week, we are going to take a broad view of the owner and staff that run Riverview Manor, a big house and notable party location in the northeastern city of Shadenhall. The owner of the manor is Voronil, a high elf man with a lot of money to throw at parties and a not-so-secret addiction. Tanasa Arano and Talisi Girith are two dark elf women that run the manor and clean it, respectively. They work hard and long hours for this and attest that it isn't an easy job. They also have a dark secret. Maknok and Rogamesh Grokablog are an orc couple. Maknok, the husband, acts as the gardener and spends much time outside. Rogmesh, the wife, is the cook up in the big house. <laughs> Many guests join them at the lodge weekly for the party, making the large house even more crowded. Let us speak with the owner first. Enough I'm talk. warning! I'm Voronil. I'm guessing you're angling for an invitation to one of my super parties. Well, forget about it. Invitation only. And no invitation for you, stranger. His parties are exclusive to the bigwigs of town. You're not on my list, and that's all I have to say. If you were somebody, I'd know. But I don't, so you aren't. Hey, you're the one they call the hero of Kvatch, aren't you? The one that closed the Oblivion Gate and saved the city? Bruh. No amount of fame gained or buying the local home will earn you an invite, unfortunately. This is one instance of the player not being able to interact with the part of the world, which is a pretty cool way to make it feel more immersive. They ask you how you are, you just... Tanasa introduces herself with... I'm the charwoman at Riverside, Tanasa Arano. I clean up after Voranil and his parties. And talks of the plight of the Dunma. Lots of us dark elves came to Cyrodiil to get away from the temple. We're sick of living under the thumb of the priests and scraping by on the dole. Indeed, she worships in her own way instead. Talisi says, I am Talisi Gareth. I'm a maid at Riverview, and it's no picnic, I'll tell you. And disparages about her job. He pays peanuts and thinks it entitles him to chew us out 18 hours a day. Sometimes I wonder if I made a mistake coming here. Sounds like Vorn <laughs> isn't a good man. At least he lets them have their Daedra worshipping materials out on display. Dawn is breaking. Good afternoon. Greet the new day, sister. They say the two dark elves are mythic dawn sleeper agents ready to spring on the uninvited player. You are Lord not Daedra the Master's visions. They're pretty much always together, presenting a slight combat challenge. Ah! Were you in the belongings and beside their bed, you'll find the first two Mythic Dawn commentaries. I guess the manor only has two staff now. Sorry, orcs, I just doubled your workloads. Speaking of, Magnok speaks. Leave me alone. I'm Magnok Grokoblok, the Riverside groundskeeper. Rogmesh, my wife, is the cook at the big house. Oh, it's a grand house, Riverside, and they have grand parties there. All the rich swongs and swells of the town come in. Leave a right mess. They do. And Rogmesh. I'm the cook of Riverside, Rogmesh Grakoblug. I don't get paid to chat, if you don't mind. She seems awfully busy, naturally. Voronel got parties near about every night, and there's plenty of cooking and cleaning and preparing to be done, if you don't mind. One thing of note is that they all call the place Riverside, despite the name being Riverview in the game. I imagine this was just a mistake. It happens. They each have their own routines, of course. Voronil sleeps from midnight to 6am and otherwise remains inside the manor most of the time. He eats breakfast, lunch and dinner and probably sneaks in some skooma. The others are somewhat more active. Tenosa, Talisi, Fox and Merched Jewels, they wake up at six sharp and head to the hallway You will see them work until midnight Eat some food and sleep at two Starts his day at six, just like the two done. McCall's he heads outside to garden, watch and wonder the man is grounds there. He works until midnight, eats some food, and doesn't sleep with the bug. Rogmish wakes at ten much later than all the other folks. She heads into the kitchen where she cooks and she lollygags. There she works till ten at night, eats some more, and sleeps at four. On Sunday, all their parts converge aside from Pavar and Nils. At the take the day off and forgo their schedules. Morning 9 to 11 night, there at Newlands Lodge. 
chatting and relaxing so that they can recharge. Yeah. I hear that the Nords of Skyrim have been. Riverview is a large and affluent manor in the bestatued plaza across from the Grand Chapel of Arche, and appropriately next to the river that runs through the town. It is one of the biggest houses in town, only rivaled by the guild halls. The Shadenhall style is quite pretty. White panelling of the upper floors with dark wooden supports and stone lower walls with a nice curved styling. Riverview has the embellishments of pillars, a veranda, and stairs leading up to it to make it more elevated, imposing, and exclusive. Through the door is the party hall with the fireplace and some good area for dining and relaxing. A touch more cramped than one would expect for a party place. Upstairs is a small landing with the table littered with skooma and then there is the vast bedroom, more open than the main floor for Varanil alone. He has a painting set up for what's likely his hobby, though there's no actual paintings there, maybe it's just for show, a chest beside his bed with more sweets and even his own little balcony. In total, there were 11 skooma bottles like to find. Stop right there! Downstairs is the staff's living quarters, with two single and one double bed. They have their own storage and dining area where they eat shepherd's pie and sweet rolls. Delicious! I wish to first get out of the way that they all carry keys to the manor and gold. Assume from now on that everybody has those if they have houses. Thank you. Voronil fights like a man who's never fought in his life. Yeah! By the gods! There's a psychopath on the loose! Yeah! Bring it up! Hey, come stop right there! He wears a fancy blue velvet outfit and them blue suede shoes. Tanasa and Talisi summon their pretty mythic dawn armor and maces to fight with. <laughs> and thus can prove a challenge. Funny enough, one summer it doesn't disappear until they die. They'll just walk around in it if you yield with them during combat before you got the Mysterium Xarxes as part of the story. My feet. Tanasa wears a green wool shirt and felt linens with braided leather sandals, while Talisi dresses more finely in a quilted doublet, tan linens, and cowhide shoes. The latter has the MD commentaries one in her pockets. The orcs fight with fists, like true orcs, but still they're only commoners, so they do run away, unlike true orcs. Mackinac dresses practically in a burlap vest and sackcloth pants and wears clogs. I don't know why, but my clogs icon is messed up. It happened after I turned crow into an Argonian and it hasn't changed since. My clever clogs look like missing no now. Rogmesh dresses in a quilted doublet, light brown linens, and braided leather sandals. It's party time! Every Lord Us, grand parties are thrown at Riverview, wherefore a fair few of the town's most important people are invited. Unfortunately, Crow will never be. If you were somebody, I'd know. Hey! You're gay- On these party days, the staff continue their jobs as usual. Voronil, however, alters his routine. At 10 a.m., he leaves the manor and takes a long walk through town, informing his guests of the event. He notably speaks to a misanthropic orc man. Annoying creature. They say that the priests and priests passes the guild and turns around after reaching the gate out of the city. He returns and they wait until 6 to 7 p.m. when the guests begin arriving. They slowly do so depending how far they walk, with some arriving quite late. I don't know you and I don't care to know you. Flying, flying in the sky. Cliff racer flies so Hi there. high. They say that when you fly. murder someone. The Dark Brotherhood comes in. All the rich swungs and swirls stay until midnight, doing miscellaneous swung and swirl things. <laughs> the guests include two skooma smugglers, Dolphish Graorum and Ogash Gromagul, no doubt Voronil's suppliers, two Mages Guild characters, Islandwe and Orinto, a guy from the Fighters Guild, Ottenbar, and the Count of Shadenal himself, Andal Indaris, as well as his stewardess, Naspia Cosma. A lovely mix of important folk that add colour to the party. Most of the colour is elf colour. Why weren't you at elf party? Let the NPCs of Riverview, Voronil, Tanasa Arano, Talisi Girith, and Macnock and Rogmesh Grokoblog be NPC. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you again in the next episode.